But by 95, 99, drank a lot, toured a lot, just hammer all the time. Yeah, kind touring of is rough. Touring, people don't understand how rough touring is and being alone in hotels and, and, and I was, sit every night. Oh, man, and I, was, and I was in Austin, and they got a call from the club. Hey, Sandra Bullock's coming to the second show. And, you know, we've been drinking and shit like that. I said, man, I don't want her to see me. Man, I get on my knees in the, in the, in the green room. And I'm like, please don't let her show up. Like, please. I mean, we're in bad, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in bad yeah. shape, man. And then he opens the door. All the guys are say, hey, she's not coming. It's like, oh, my God. And then cut to two years later, she comes and sees me. We go to the green room. And she's like, I have an idea for a show. And I think we should meet. And let's look at if there's something in your family. Mm. So I go. We sit there for like three hours. We talk about everything. And on the way out, I looked at her in the doorway and I said, hey, what, what we're going to try to do, what you're going to try to do has not been done successfully. And just if we never see, see each other again or whatever, just let me say thank you. I appreciate it. And then she, she said, you know, why don't you just worry about being funny and you let me worry about all <laughs> that. But nobody ever told me that, John. Yeah, like, I never right. had anybody on my side. Yeah, yeah. With Sandra Bullock's star power and support as executive producer, in 2002, The George Lopez Show had its nationwide premiere, and in doing so, showed millions of people what a Mexican-American household really looked like. Happy birthday. The show was a hit, and before long, George got that Hollywood star he dreamt about. He now has another show, Lopez vs. Lopez, where he stars alongside his daughter. That was all you needed. You just needed somebody who wouldn't take no for an answer regarding you. Yeah, yes, I, think, I think the thing that she said to me was, you know, people always ask me, like, were you responsible for finding George? I said, yeah, you know, I found George and I brought him to people that needed to see him. But also the thing I'm proudest about George is that I didn't create a monster. Right, know, right. But I think I was aiming toward being a monster in my early life. But I think every day that <clears throat> you get to look around, I mean, I can see City Hall, downtown from my house, and, and all the things that meant so much about being right. from Los Angeles is just, you know, I'm blessed. I mean, people say it, I'm blessed, but this place is like, it, it made me yes. what I am, and it yeah. made me a fighter when I didn't want to be a fighter. And it made me not quit when I wanted to quit. And I mean, that's, I'm yeah. glad that you asked me to come out to the park. Yeah, I'm glad, man. I'm glad you made it. Cheers. Yeah. Salud. Cheers, salud. 